Man United vs Liverpool, Premier League, Live. Manchester United vs Liverpool, Live. One of English football's great rivalries will be renewed at Old Trafford this afternoon as Man United and Liverpool meet for the first time this season. As well as the bragging rights up for grabs, Jurgen Klopp's in-form Reds have the chance to move within a point of Chelsea at the top of the Premier League with victory. United, meanwhile, need a statement result to ease some of the pressure that is once again mounting on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The Norwegian side have gone three games without a win in the Premier League, including last weekend's 4-2 defeat at Leicester, while another thrilling European comeback against Atalanta in midweek has done little to appease the doubters, given the woeful first-half display that saw United go in 2-0 down to the Italian side before turning the game on its head. Sponsored you can follow all the action live with Standard Sports blog below, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been speaking to Sky Sports asked if he has any doubts he is the right man for the job, Solskjaer said, no. I have come too far, we have come too far as a group. We are too close to give up now. It is going to be a difficult one. The players will be low, but there is loads of characters there. We know we are rock bottom, we cannot feel any worse than this. Let's see where we take it. It is the darkest day I have had leading these players. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has been speaking to BBC Sport. Bruno Fernandes had a chance early on, but we were incredibly clinical. We put them under pressure without high press, and it was phenomenal. As the opponent you cannot gain confidence or momentum. We know the story of United this season, but 4-0 makes it tricky. 5-0, come on, control it and try to get through it. It was not about humiliating anybody. The game was decided then we have to bring it home, when it was pretty much over don't give them a chance, but we did when we let Cristiano Ronaldo score, but it was offside, so we were lucky. We wanted to write our own chapters in the history book and this was another. First and foremost, I want to apologize to the fans, it was nowhere near good enough. I'm here on media duty, because I have to be here, but the only real thing I've got to say is I apologize to the fans. In the first half it was too open. I'm not here to analyze the game, I'm so disappointed. We gave them chances, and they were clinical. Defensively, I'm a defender, and to concede four and a half of football, especially at Old Trafford playing for this club, is unacceptable. I'm the captain of this club, so I lead the boys and we've got to come together, stick together, there's no point blaming each other. To lose to Liverpool in any game hurts. There are rivals in the way we lost the game, to be 4-0 down at halftime in front of our fans is not good enough. We know what it takes to win the Premier League, we did it two years ago. A big win here, but still only three points. We try to win each game and try to win the title. We need to play to win everything. From our heads from pre-season, we need to win the Premier League, and hopefully we go for that. After halftime we were talking in the dressing room to just keep going and score as many as we could. The pressure after this game is going to be absolutely intolerable in certain quarters, said Man United legend Gary Neville on Sky Sports. The board have made everyone aware over the last few weeks, in certain briefing, that they are absolutely steadfast in their support of the manager. I think he stays, and they are going to go through these difficult moments and let him build this new. Results like this undermine that. There is absolutely no doubt. It is sobering. Forget this one, the other eight Premier League performances have been poor. It has been coming this sobering moment. They have got to change, they have got to change. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to get that chance to change I believe. But there is going to be untold pressure from every single source. There is no doubt the manager is going to get an absolute battering and there is going to be calls for his head like you would not believe in the next 24 hours. We'll have all the reaction from Old Trafford as we get it. Could be tasty. Utter humiliation. 90 mins, what happens to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer from here? There's going to be a heck of a lot of